Hi there, I'm Sage. I have family ancestors who fought for independence and ancestors who were here long before the war. I love learning about them and sharing what I learned with you guys. We're too young to talk about forever. Talk about the weather to know any better. I just want to laugh until I can't breathe. Midnight moonlight dancing, never get enough sleep. Today, Colonial Crafts takes us into the kitchen, so make sure you have washed your hands before we start, because we don't want any diseases like bubonic plague, typhoid, COVID-19, you know, all that first stuff. It's time for another episode of Colonial Crafts. This time, we're learning about something that's kind of sweet, as old as the country, and as sweet as me. Maple cream. Making maple cream involves a heating element of some kind, so make sure to have close adult supervision. For this, you'll need a stove, a saucepan, a wooden spoon, candy thermometer, molds, a measuring cup, cooking spray, maple syrup, and butter. Chopped walnuts are optional if you want them. I found that silicone molds work the best, and I'm going to use maple leaves because it's maple. So once you have your molds, we're going to go ahead and lightly coat it with your non-stick cooking spray. Early colonists learned about the amazingness of maple sap from the Native Americans. The local indigenous people had their own way of collecting and processing the sap. They celebrated the first moon of spring called the Sugar Moon. Many aboriginal foods included maple sugar or syrup. The colonists called it maple water and it didn't take them very long to learn how to make maple syrup and other sweet treats. Did you know that Canada and the US are the only places that still make maple syrup? Yep, that's right. It's only made here in North America. Quebec, Canada makes the most, but Vermont and Maine contribute to the world supply of maple syrup. Ready to make maple cream candies? This is where we use the stove, so make sure that you have your adult supervisor nearby. Step one. Go ahead and pour out two cups of your maple syrup. And then go ahead and pour it into your saucepan. Before we turn on our stove, let's put a little bit of butter at the inside rim of our saucepan. And we do this so that way when we boil our maple syrup, it doesn't boil over the top. I'm using butter that I made from our earlier craft, our colonial butter. And I'll provide a link for that below. Remember, we want to make sure that the stove is not on. Here we have our candy thermometer, which is the key to making any candy. As this is simple, we need to monitor our heat very closely. We want to put our candy thermometer in here, but not touching the bottom of the pan. Step two, we're gonna go ahead and turn on our heat and if you're on an electric burner, it's going to be medium. And if you're on a gas burner, it's medium low. Right now our heat is at a medium low and we're going to gradually bring it up to a boil. And this should take about 10 minutes. The heat for the boil will be about 235 to 240 degrees. During this time, you're going to want to occasionally stir with your wooden spoon. Wood, not plastic. Because if you use plastic, it will melt and you cannot eat it. Ew. I like to use a flat edge spoon because it's easier to get to the bottom and scrape the syrup and stir it easier. Step three. Once you're at a boil, you're gonna want to maintain this boil for about five minutes. 
You'll start to see the color lighten, and that's a good thing. See it boiling? I'm at the right temperature, and so we can see that the color is starting to slowly lighten. Step four, go ahead and remove it from the heat and let it sit undisturbed. We want this to reach to 180 degrees, so this should take about five minutes. Remember, we do not want to touch this because we want to leave it undisturbed. Whoa, no touchy. No touchy. No touch. Also, it's really hot and we don't want anyone to get a burn. Step five. Go ahead and start stirring continuously very fast. You'll feel it start to thicken and you know that you're doing it right when it starts to be a little blonder and that's when you know that you're close. This step should take about five minutes. It's at 180 degrees, so it's still very hot, so do not touch it. If you're not comfortable with this, have your parent helper do this part. If you want to add chopped walnuts, you can add it at this step. We're going to remove our thermometer now. It smells so good. Can you guys smell that? This is very important because the next step is pouring it into the molds. And if you don't do this step, then it's just going to be syrup and molds. And it won't set properly like candy. It'll just be syrup. Step six. For this part, I'm going to have my adult supervisor do this. Pour it into your baking pan or mold. Again, I'm having my adult supervisor do this because it's just better practice and I don't want to burn myself. You only have a couple of minutes to work with this and get them into the mold because they solidify so fast. Meep, meep. Another reason why you want your adult to do it. Again, I'm using molds, but you can also just put it in a bread pan. Now that we have our candy in the molds, we need to let it sit for 12 to 24 hours. This allows it to harden and become a nice candy. So when they're finished, they should have a smooth, creamy texture, kind of like fudge, like this one. And you can break it and put it in there. And you can put it on ice cream, just eat it plain, put it in coffee, or anywhere else that you would use sugar. If you over stir it, it can sometimes look a little bit like a chicken nugget, <laughs> but still tastes good. If this happens and you don't like the way it looks, you can always just put it back in the pan and add half a cup of water per every cup of syrup. Remember that you can use any silicone molds, not only these, I'm also making maple men and an amazing maple mustache. Hee hee hee. What do you think of my maple mustache, no? I hope you guys had as much fun making maple cream as I did. Make sure to catch up on all of our episodes on YouTube or on our blog. And of course, our shop is always down below. Bon appetit. Bye. The whole night